Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Damian Bunting. I want to welcome you to my white belt journey. So this past week, I had an opportunity to go to uh, one of our open mats at my home gym. Now, this is on Thursday night. It's generally really highly attended. I do a, a fundamentals class, which is right before it at six o'clock. You know, I've been a part of this program. I'm going into my sixth week. So this is really my I'm finishing up my fifth week. Um, and after every fundamentals class on Thursday, I see this group of guys that come in. There's a lot of blue belts, purple belts, a couple of brown belts, and everybody just seems, you know, so aware of what they're doing. Everybody seems really comfortable. They seem, you know, really excited. And it's one of those classes that that's kind of seemed aggressive to me. So I've really shied away from it. So over the last two weeks, I've been like really pushing myself and saying, look, you've got to get in there. If you want to get better at this, you're going to have to try and put all of the things that you're learning in fundamentals, all the things that you're doing in drilling, you're going to have to put it into actual use in a, in a real life situation. So uh, I stayed this Thursday for my first class. Uh, I had a chance to roll with a couple of, of really um, talented and good people. And then at the end of the night, there's a guy named Ricky who's at my program. He he actually started around the same time that I did the first time that I went into Team Quest. It was around January and that was right before my wife had her traumatic accident. So then I ended up not being able to sign up and I, I didn't come back until, you know, right here at the beginning of August. <clears throat> so, you know, Ricky has been there this entire time. He's now a one stripe white belt we're about the same size i'm right at 255 260 ricky's probably you know around that same weight same height a guy who really mirrors me in size and i've kind of avoided rolling with him because he's like a huge bear of a guy you know um but i i wanted to take my chances and and try some of the things that i've been working on mostly framing mostly trying to escape side control so i'm going to show you guys the rounds uh there was two roles between ricky and myself and i'm gonna be very honest guys like it was really hard to watch this video back in the playback because in your mind when you're thinking about what you're doing the uh, attempts that you're making the 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 skills that you're trying to implement into your game uh to see that back in real time it was it was very embarrassing and very difficult for me but everybody has to start somewhere this is my first recorded role and I want to share it with you guys, but this is my first recorded role and this is where we are. And we're just going to go ahead and bring it into the stage right here. So let's bring it in. Uh, this was on the 5th of September. You can see I've got the black shirt on uh, the white pants. We're slapping nuts here. And I, I let me just pause this for a second. So I tend to try and go for like a like a face tap before going for the uh the ankle pick here and i didn't really commit to it ricky's a big guy i was kind of worried he was going to sprawl and maybe fall on me uh so i didn't really get into the the takedown attempt with like full commitment and you're going to see how that works out for me let me go ahead and play this so i go for the face he doesn't even react because i barely do anything and then he just he sprawls right on top of me pulls me down goes to side control this has been the area where i have struggled the most is when i get into a position on my back and side control so i'm thinking to myself establish your frames I'm, I'm working to get my hands in the right position but i'm not putting any pressure on his neck um and i'm basically just kind of a gazelle at this point i'm just allowing him to control everything i'm not making any effort to get my legs in to create that space i'm staying pinned on the floor this is probably the thing that i've noticed the most is that you know I, I should not be allowing myself to just stay pinned on the floor he's doing a really good job of controlling my shoulder getting his knee into my body i'm starting to kind of shrimp away right here and then i'm able to get into a kind of a quasi half guard he steps right over that so he's it's controlling my head controlling my yep and i start to kind of bring that leg back in my goal here is to try and get back into this half guard but i'm not pulling my legs in at all uh, I'm, I'm not getting any sort of curvature in my back i'm not doing anything to change my position uh from being kind of just pinned to the floor here and he's really using his weight and just laying on me and he passes me here 
So at this point, he just puts a body triangle on me and just squeezes. We tap it up and go again. So now I'm thinking to myself, I'm just going to go ahead and pull guard. Um, so right as he shoots, I just fall back. And then at this point where his arm is, I, I kind of go for a Kimura here and I wrap my legs around him. Um, I've got a pretty good grip on it, but he's he's not tapping. I don't know what I was doing to where I couldn't get the finish on this. Like I am really, really wrenching on his arm. On his right arm. And he's pulling his left hand over. He just ripped my arm right back off with his opposite hand. Posturing up. So at this point, like I, I'm not thinking I'm not thinking at all. It's like I just went blank here. It's almost like when I get into a position where I feel like I have yeah, the coach is telling us that it's over at this point. And then the black belt instructor tells us we can keep going and finish it. It's almost like when I get into a position of um, of having a potential submission once it gets broken off like I get so dejected I'm trying to get into a position for a triangle he just throws my legs right off so now I'm able to get my forearm up against his neck for that frame he just moves it right off and I'm just gassed at this point and so now we're talking about the role and, and what he saw so let me just say this you know I think that I really, when I left the workout, I was really dejected. I'm like, man, you know, I, I, I'm like a lot of you guys. I study, I listen to podcasts, I watch videos. I'm, I'm, I'm reading, you know, books and, and training materials and going to as many classes as possible. The, the idea of doing certain things and, and performing certain moves or positions, you know, that's one thing but in practicality when you're actually on the mat that's something different so i was really feeling down about you know how i looked on video and and what i was able to do or what i wasn't able to do and then it dawned on me that there is a paradigm right it's called the paradigm of competence so the first level of that paradigm is unconscious incompetence you literally don't know what you don't know right the second level is conscious incompetence where you're aware of what you don't know and i had to think to myself you have done a lot just to get to this point in six weeks i have stopped drinking i've changed my diet i've lost about 17 pounds i've started working out again i am going to jujitsu class three to four times a week i'm able to sit here and break down what I'm doing wrong, things that I'm missing, things that should be different, things that I should be instituting. All of that is a higher level of knowledge than I had six weeks ago. So in order to reach that second paradigm, that consciously incompetent, where I understand what I don't know, that's actually growth. And I had to give myself a little bit of credit. You've actually grown in these six weeks. Congratulations, you've grown. Now you're able to get your ass kicked and be able to, you know, regurgitate why that's happening. So for anyone who's out there, if you're going through your own white belt journey, if you're older, if you're younger, it doesn't matter. If you're new to this, try not to get discouraged. And I think that I'm going to do everything that I can to record as many of my roles as possible. And I want to share those with you guys. I, I want to be vulnerable. I want to be open. I want to put myself out there because I think that a large part of the fear of doing something like this is the fear of failure and the fear of how it looks. But two things are going to happen. You're going to fail and it's going to look bad. And that's the only way that you can grow. So we've made huge progress in the first six weeks. I'm at a, a, a level of competence now where I understand what I don't know. I understand what, I, what I'm not able to do. And there's room for growth here. So uh, that was my first set of roles, my first Thursday night class. And I'm looking forward to any feedback, any thoughts you guys have. Share everything that you can in terms of what you what you think, what you see, what you feel, and also what you guys are going through, okay? I really appreciate you guys being here. Help me by 
sharing your thoughts and your feedback. Okay. If you're on your own journey, I wish you the best and I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Be great.